I have mentioned in the asset loaders and reapply videos, how decal materials get matched, either to the objects they sit on top of, or to a specific material defined in the decal machine panel. This so-called auto-matching, will only ever match the material components of a decal material. Simple and subset decals, have a single material component, while panel decals have two. One for each side of the panel. The Match Material tool allows you to manually match all three decal material components. The Material and Material 2 components, as well as the subset component. With a decal selected, bring up the tool by pressing the Match Material button in the Pi menu, or by pressing D and V in sequence. The Modal HUD will display the material components that make sense for your selection. In this case it's the subset component and the material component. For subset and panel decals, the subset component will always be activated, with the other ones grayed out. The assumption is, the material components are already matched and most of the time you only want to quickly change the subset material. This is done by scrolling the mouse wheel or by pressing the one or two keys, if you don't have one. Confirm by left clicking or pressing the spacebar. Cancel by right clicking or pressing escape. You can toggle the individual material components via the S, D and F keys. This determines if they are changed by the tool, or left as they were before. With the material component active, you can shift scroll to change it. And as explained earlier, you can always auto match the material component using reapply. Simple decals, have only the one material component. As before for the subset decal, use shift scroll to change it. Info decals cannot be matched. Keep in mind that the materials available to be matched to, need to have a principled PBR shader node at the end. For panel decals, all three components are available. I'm just quickly switching to a material that actually makes use of all three. If you match this, and start scrolling, you will see how the subset component changes, just as before for the subset decal. And if you toggle the material and material 2 components, you can scroll through them as well, using shift scroll and control scroll accordingly. Matching both sides of a panel to different materials, probably means you also want to apply a different material, to that part of the parent object. One way to do that quickly, is by using the panel decals backup, to cut into the parent object. Note however that this is a destructive process. I will be looking into a way to generate an ID map from panel decals for decal machine 1.9 or 2.0. This would allow for material mixing using the ID mask, and so wouldn't require any changes to the mesh. In this example, I've taken it one step further and have cut along the other panel decal as well, to apply the chrome material to the backside. 